Hi everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video is all about our fire pit. So this fire pit was our project last summer and we still get a ton of questions about how we did it and where everything's from. So this video will hopefully answer all of those questions and if I miss anything, feel free to comment below. We started off by putting a stake in the ground with a rope tied around it and spray painted a circle 16 feet in diameter with a three foot inner circle. Andrew then cut the grass on top of the area because we did not begin digging on the same day. Once we were set on this location, we started digging and had to go about a foot down to get it level. I found about 50 feet of retaining wall bricks on Facebook Marketplace and we put that around the perimeter with some landscape fabric underneath and used PL adhesive to hold them together. Some of you guys love to roast us for that, but it really was supposed to be a simple project. We got the gravel from a local landscape company delivered to our house, put that down with some landscape fabric underneath, but not in the middle where the fire bowl was gonna go. Because these retaining wall bricks were purchased secondhand, we gave them a little power wash to clean them up and then we were ready to move on to building the structure to hold the swings. We used two six by six posts and dug four feet deep, sunk them into concrete. I believe it was around 14 bags of concrete we used and the posts are about 10 feet apart. This is also the perfect moment to tell you guys that we were really just winging it for this project. We didn't have like a written plan and we still to this day don't have a written plan that we could be giving you guys. This is just what worked for us and exactly how we did it. Okay, next. So we used two two by eight by 12 beams to create the beam across the top and then fastened it together with deck screws. We also used two six by six blocks to reinforce the area where the swings would hang and then got the longest eye bolts that we could find and use them to hang the swings. Andrew then used another six by six to do corner bracing for additional stability. And then for the pergola top, it's two by four cut to about uh, like 16 inch in length and then screwed in and they're spaced about a foot apart. We shared this project on social media the same day we completed it and it blew up. It's still our most viewed video ever on TikTok with over 25 million and nearly 10 million on Instagram. And now it's been almost a year since we did this project. So we finally have more info to share with you guys. We recently just completed landscaping around it because I wanted it to feel like private and almost like a separate entity from the rest of our backyard. So we used some cedars and then a couple other little plants like hostas and things like that to kind to spice up the area. The retaining wall is also still going strong for everybody who doubted our PL adhesive. Um, it didn't move or shift over the winter. So this is what it currently looks like. We've been enjoying it many times already this spring. I'll address some of the most popular questions we get about this project. The first one being, where are your swings from? And I found them on Amazon. It was the only ones I could find without the stand and the cushions are removable. So we just bring them in when it's gonna rain. We didn't run electricity to our fire pit. So the two lanterns are solar powered from Canadian Tire and the string lights are plugged into an extension cord. We experienced our first winter with the fire pit and we left the hanging chairs out all winter and they still look really good. And overall, we've just had a really good experience with our fire pit. We use it all the time and it's been so great for entertaining. You can check out the description of this video for any other FAQs. It's been almost two years of doing projects at this house and the fire pit is still my favorite. If you guys recreate this project, please send us photos and we will see you in our next video.